Hey everyone, so it's Hearth and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we are going to be doing a Bridget altar tour. I know that I've done a Bridget altar tour in the past, but my Bridget altar has been updated since. I've added a few new things to it, and I've been getting more questions from people who have never seen my Bridget altar about some of the items that they see in the background of images. So this video is going to be all about that. I do apologize if I'm a little bit repetitive for my last video because I know some of you have been around for quite a while on this channel, but this is mainly for people that are interested in any of the changes that are going on. So I'm going to be flipping you around in a minute just to show some of the more closer detailed things, but the first thing I've got a lot of questions about is this. This is a beautiful moon phases kind of garland. It's in um, like gold colored metal. It's not actual gold plated or anything, it's just like an alloy. This is actually from Urban Outfitters and I don't know whether they still do it anymore, but if they do, I will put a link in the description box below for anyone that's interested because I have had quite a few questions about that. Now, besides this, I have had a lot of questions about my beautiful Bridget. She is a brand new painting that I've got, if I can show you her a bit more closely. I'm sorry about the glare, that is my filming light that you can like see in the reflection. Um, she is actually from a wonderful artist on Redbubble and I will link her page down in the description box. I spotted this image about three months ago and I've been saving up to be able to get her for a really long time. So she is absolutely stunning. I love her. She even has kind of the Bridget ring and everything. I love her so much and I've had so many questions about her. For anyone that is interested as well, this picture frame is from Wilco's. I know picture frames that are nice are really hard to find, so I was really happy when I managed to find this one. Now, along with her, not much has really changed. I have the same picture that I had originally. I will link the artist for this down in the description box as well. This image isn't actually of Bridget. It is actually from a completely different deity. But as soon as I walked into the shop in Glastonbury where they sold them, I immediately connected with it and felt like it needed to be for Bridget. So this one has been on my altar for a really long time. I actually got this in 2015. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful painting. The artist is amazing. She even does like um, postcards and cards and stuff and she does loads of deities and she does the sabbats, which is really, really, really cool. Coming in a bit closer, we then have my um, little gold goddess statue. I've been asked quite a lot where I get this one from. This I actually stock in my store, but I have been completely out of stock for ages because the man that makes them for me is currently in the process of making them a bit nicer and newer, and so I'm waiting for a new order of these. I have been asked a lot where I get it from, and I promise that when I have them back in stock again, I will be telling all of the people on the YouTube um, who want one, where to get it from, if you're interested in getting it from me, because they are so pretty. And inside her is actually a little um, angel aura quartz. Now, she is an amplification goddess, so she's used to amplify the energy of the items that are put inside. So I change the crystal out every time I need to shift the energy, if I need to alter anything, I will change the crystal that's in her. But at the minute, it's the angel aura quartz that I absolutely love. I have a few crystals here, so I have some citrine, I have a smoky quartz. I'm not really sure why this is here. One day it just kind of appeared there, and I don't remember putting it there, so it's just kind of stayed. Um, I also have my same rose quartz um, little fertility goddess. She's got like breasts and hips and a butt, and she's really cool. I got this from my friend at one of her markets. I don't think she does them anymore, but if she does, I will link her down in the description box. She is so nice, the lady that sells them, and it's actually a pendant. Like, I don't know if you can see the hole there, but I just love it on this altar because this altar's kind of my abundant, happy, joyful altar. You know, all good things. I then have some crystals, so I have some... Um, um, red jasper, I have a tiny, tiny, tiny um, aragonite sputnik, I have a um, red jade, I have some more citrine, you guys know I have an obsession with citrine, I have an unfinished goddess candle, 
I actually, um, I sell these in my store and there was this one and she has a hole in her side, I'm not sure if you can see that, where something happened when we were pouring her and I kept her and I said to myself, as soon as I move into the new house, I will trim her and I will burn her as a British candle and it has now been over six months since I moved in and I've still not trimmed her. So hopefully by the time I make another update video, I will have actually trim this candle so she can stand because at the minute she just falls over. <laughs> one day I will trim her, one day. I have another piece of angel aura quartz. I then have a red coral. This is really beautiful. I am like a biology nerd. I don't know if anyone knew that, but I um, I actually did a degree in zoology with marine zoology. So um, I am, I'm a graduate that doesn't use their, their degree. But I'm not sure if it'll focus on it, but it, you can actually see the, um, it's not going to focus. So my camera does not want to focus on this, but you can see the actual lines that make up the coral structure. And I love it. I absolutely love this. It like brings out the biology nerd in me. I then have a citrine, a clear quartz and a goldstone, as well as a beautiful citrine cluster. I got this from a friend of mine at a market. She had it on display and I just came over to her stall one day when it was quiet and was like, can I buy your citrine cluster off you? And she very graciously agreed. So um, I now have a beautiful citrine cluster. I also have an altar bell. Now, this makes a really sweet sound. I got this off eBay in like 2006 or something crazy. And inside it is really horrible. And the actual ringer has gone. I'm not sure if you can see in there. The ringer isn't there. What is there instead is a Christmas tree ornament hanger that has been used as a replacement for the bell. But now it makes a really nice twinkly sound. So I use um, this bell for working with Bridget. So like when I want to honor her, I will come around her altar and I'll ring her bell. And I also used to use it to work with the Fae because Fae and bells really go together. I then have a Selenite pillar. This is a really, really pretty pillar. Um, I just love how it reflects the light. I use this as an energy amplifier for the room. So this is to amplify the positive energy that's going on on the altar. It amplifies it into the space. So I've had a lot of people say when they walk into this room that the energy feels really, really nice. And my room is like a dumpster. Honestly, my entire house is like a dumpster. My life is a dumpster. I am like the messiest person you have ever met in your existence, like seriously. I should be on one of those programs, you know, like hoarders or something, but Everyone says that the energy in this room is really nice and I say it's from this because to me, I believe it is. It's like the nicest crystal I have. It's amazing. Down here, I have a little tub of um, tobacco. Um, I don't smoke, but um, my ex did occasionally smoke and he gave me some of his tobacco because tobacco is really good for cleansing so I have a little bit of it but I personally don't use it I just have it just in case I need it this box here is something that I made and kind of spray painted and everything and in there is mainly just the things that are kind of too small to go on the altar by themselves or that keep falling over on the cloth so I have um, a little clear quartz rough piece I have a beautiful clear quartz point, like this is so pretty, absolutely love this. Um, next to it I have a lemon quartz point, that's really nice, you can't really see it in there but it is like this really gentle, like beautiful lemon colour. It does not want to focus but it's, it's beautiful and it's lemon coloured so I like it. And below that I have a rose quartz, a smoky quartz, a yellow calcite sphere, two pieces of clear quartz and three tiny smoky quartz points because I didn't know where else to put them. So they ended up here. Back across the altar, I have my Brigid um, little goddess. This is from a wonderful, wonderful company called Bridget's Grove. I got this shipped all the way from America, which costs a fortune, by the way. Um, I get asked all the time why I don't ship to the States and it is because the shipping is extortionate to the point where I don't really feel comfortable having people pay more for shipping than the price of the items. 
but for this little goddess I forked out the cash <laughs> and I got her sent over from Bridget's Grove. The people who run the company are absolutely amazing. They make like goddesses for all different um, seasons and time of year and Sabbath and rituals and goddesses and they're just fantastic. When I ordered this, this was the only style of goddess that they did. Now they do like sitting goddesses and they do animal deities. They do some really, really cool stuff. So if anyone's interested, I will link um, Bridget's Grove Etsy down below because that's where I got this from and they are fantastic. Next I have my um, wands. So these are wands that I use to work with Bridget's energy or like solar energy. So I have my selenite wand. This is the one that I used to use a lot for workings when I didn't really want to use one of my more traditional ones. And then I also have this. This is a beautiful, beautiful custom wand. Um, it has like sunflower and bay leaves and rosemary and it's all about like abundance and prosperity and connected with solar energy with the alchemic with the alchemical symbol for the sun and also a beautiful citrine on top. So this is possibly my favorite wand. Ah, it's not my favorite wand. It's my second favorite wand I think in the world. Um, I don't use this wand very much. I actually need to re-glue the top because the cork is like coming out but it is so so beautiful and I've had to like prop it up with a piece of citrine because it keeps falling over. And then the last two things on this altar are my little bitty little vintage chalice. This is actually a, um, wow the price sticker is still on here, um, this is a vintage chalice that we actually got from an antique shop near where my uh, auntie lives. Um, it is from the 1920s, it is a silver chalice, not that it looks it anymore, it's kind of tarnished. But the moment I saw this in the cabinet, I was like, I need it, but I couldn't afford it. So my mum very wonderfully got it for me for Christmas that year, so I've had this for about two years now, it's very tarnished. But I kind of don't want to polish it, because I kind of like how it looks old. <laughs> like, I really enjoy how old it looks. And then the last thing on this altar is the only other new thing, which is this beautiful green goddess. Now, this is something that I actually sell in my store, and when I got these in, I had to keep her for myself. So they do these in like loads of colors, and like I get them in and I sell them on market stalls. And I loved the green goddess so much, and I felt she was so fitting for this particular altar that I had to include her. She's probably going to move around quite a lot because I think she's going to end up on my Ostara altar when I make it. But she is like the last new addition to the altar. So after quite a bit of rejigging, like now you'll notice it looks quite different than it used to. Um, my altar looks like this and I think it looks a lot, lot better. I've had a lot of really nice comments from people who've said that it looks really nice now and that I've changed it and it looks great. And honestly, you guys are just like really awesome. You guys are really cool. Oh, side note, um, the cloth it's on is just a really cheap piece of um, black velvet. If it was up to me, I would have used something like red velvet, but I didn't have any red velvet, so I used what I had. Um, and the only other addition that's new, I will have to come like down here, like, disappearing, is this. This is new. This is my little pentacle. It's actually not mine. Um, my ex-partner left it in my parents' house when we separated and um, it was a protection charm, so I just kind of kept it. So it's under my altar now, acting as a little protection down there. But uh, yeah, that's my new altar. That's everything new on it. It is surprisingly big, actually, that I have to like put my arm like, really far out to be able to get it all in shot. So yeah, that is my new Bridget altar. Most of it is kind of the same, as you can tell, but there were definitely some new additions, and I think it makes my video backgrounds look so much nicer. So yeah, that is today's video. I'm sorry if this was a bit repetitive for anyone that's seen my altar tour before, but I have had a lot of questions from new people on this channel as to my altar and the new things on it. So that is my new altar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a like. It means a lot to me. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or video ideas, feel free to put a comment down below. I love chit-chatting with you all, and I try to get back to as many people as I can. And if you enjoy the magical content on this channel or in this video, feel free to subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 6pm. So I'll see you next time. Bye!